Hi guys, welcome to my fragrance library. We're gonna have fun today. So I started collecting fragrances at the age of 14. When I got my first job, almost all of my money went towards beauty products and majority of that was fragrances because to me, fragrances make me feel so many emotions and I just feel like it's a magical bottle of like moods. Right now, my fragrance library smells like so many different samples that I'm working on. At a given time, I'm usually testing about 20 to 30 samples. It smells amazing. Mm. So my first fragrance was actually this one right over here. It is Curve by Liz Claiborne. I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't repurchase it today if it wasn't for the memories I have associated to this fragrance because it's not really my style anymore. But when I was 14 and I lived in Dartmouth, Massachusetts, there weren't many options. I had to buy all my perfumes from like CVS Pharmacy. She did good. Mm. My most recent purchase or purchases are all these babies right here. As you guys know, I'm a bit insane when it comes to fragrances and I think I probably buy about 100 a month. I like to smell them, read the TMD, read about the nose, read about the story behind it before I put them away in my library because I just wanna like make sure I get familiar with it. So I've got a lot of work to do, but yeah, these are my new babies. I love them so much. Welcome to your new home. My favorite fragrance in my collection is one of our KLE fragrances. It's Sweet Diamond. And I love this fragrance for so many reasons. I do love the actual scent so much. It's a beautiful, spicy, sweet, floral fragrance. Just delicious and so long lasting. Like if you want a fragrance that will last all day, this is your girl. And I just love the fragrance too because this was one of the first ones that I worked on after my therapy journey. So I feel like I was able to go in deeper on the meaning behind it and the storytelling. And this is really owed to feminine energy, which I think everybody has in that. And that's why I called it Sweet Diamond because I feel like it's such a paradox. It's like sweet is soft, but diamonds are hard and strong. I feel like feminine energy is that. It's so sweet, but it's so strong too and pink pepper itself is such an incredible ingredient it actually creates the same emotion of when you first fall in love when you smell it so for me I was just like oh this is just going to be such a romantic juice that you know I needed my collection because I'm such a romantic person and it's definitely one of a kind like it's just super unique love her A fragrance that I bought for the bottle and not the scent because I don't really like it so much is the one and only Chanel number no. five. Okay, you guys see it has gone down a bit, but this is after having it for I think 10 years. <laughs> I only spray it for like testing purposes and to like understand the fragrance more. The scent is not so much me because it has aldehydes and I'm not a huge fan of aldehydes, but the bottle itself is stunning. It's a work of art. It's classic. It's iconic. You'll remember it from a mile away. It's so simple, but so chic at the same time, but I love it and I even even bought the whole collection of this limited edition packaging just because if you have a fragrance library you've got to have Chanel number no. five the most expensive bottle in my collection is actually this one right over here from Bulgari. It's like, I think it's 10 kilos, I'm not kidding. It's almost 10, like it's so heavy. This bottle is insanely luxurious. It looks like, to me, like a planet or like a spaceship. It's so pretty and it's one of 50, like only 50 bottles were produced in the world. And my sister had got it for me as a present because we were on a trip in London and I was so sick and I was in the hotel almost the whole time and she felt really bad for me. so. She she surprised me with this. From memory, I think it was like 2,000 pounds, which is insane. I was like, what are you doing? Return it. And then she was like, you need it for your fragrance library. And I was like, you're actually right. So I'm still grateful you bought it for me. I would have preferred cash, but it's all good. I'm happy I have it. So I decided to launch my own fragrance brand for so many reasons. Number one, I've been obsessed with scents as long as I can remember, since I was a child. I think it's because I'm a very emotional person and I feel like the more emotional you are, the more you become attached to the memories that you form with fragrances. And it's also just really nice to be able to shift your mood instantly with one spritz of a fragrance. When I moved to Dubai, I was 17 years old and that's when my love for fragrances skyrocketed. I've always said Dubai is a perfume lover's playground. There's so 
many different scents in every single corner, not just at a perfume. You have bakhur, you have oud oils, you have fragrance oils. There's just so much into the rituals of the Middle Eastern culture that I thought was so beautiful. And to be honest, before I moved here, I really wasn't familiar with that. And I fell in love so deeply that I was like, if I could start a brand one day, I need to start something around this so I can share it with the world. It's so rich and it really does make a difference in your life. I feel like fragrances really are a form of self-love because they really change how you feel in an instance. I want to share our Middle Eastern rituals with the world, but I also want people to use fragrances so much more than an afterthought. To me, they're more important than a power lipstick, like a power fragrance can really change your life, change your mood. So Kayali was born out of my love for fragrances and the power that they have, but also I wanted to keep in the Middle Eastern touches into everything. So the name Kayali means my imagination in Arabic. The bottles themselves look like the bottles that you find here in the souks. Like this is a fancy one. There's many different kinds. This is a kind of a more modern one, but every single element of Kayali has a touch of my Middle Eastern roots and I want to keep it that way. There's just so much that goes into this and so much love and passion that was poured into Kayali and I really feel like people are starting to change and they're starting to realize how powerful fragrances are, which makes me so happy. Fragrances do unfortunately expire or at least they start to oxidize and start smelling a lot like alcohol. It's really sad. Fragrances don't last forever. I'm sure there's a lot in my collection that have probably gone a bit bad, if you want to say. You can still spray them. It's not like they're going to give you a rash, but they won't smell that great anymore. You can increase the, the length of time that they last long by keeping them in dark rooms with cold temperature, but roughly they should be lasting pretty good for about three to four years, sometimes even longer, sometimes five years. It also depends on the notes and the amount of alcohol versus oil concentration. So the more oil they have, the longer they should last. In general, an Eau Parfum, unfortunately, does not last forever. So use it with love and just get rid of it. Don't keep it. I hate when people are like, I'm saving it for fancy events. No, wear it every day for yourself. And another thing I do want to note as well in regards to the longevity of fragrances that the color themselves will actually most likely evolve. Sometimes they evolve a lot, especially with the more gourmand, the more sweetness in the fragrance and the more natural ingredients they have. Vanilla 28 is loaded with four different types of vanillas, so it evolves like crazy and it gets really dark. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you liked learning about today. If you have any more questions for next time, comment down below. Love you guys.